Hey guys, we're getting ready to make some chicken and dumplings, homemade chicken and dumplings. Oh yeah, the Southern style way. So y'all meet me down here. All right, y'all. So these are our chicken breasts with riblets, meaning there's chicken breasts on the bone. We got three big old chunka 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 pieces, and we, these are the seasonings we're gonna be using for our chicken. But let's go ahead and wash our chicken. Go we got it all washed up, and let's get it in the pot with the water. We are gonna fill this baby up to where the water is over the chicken. And once we get it on the stove, we're going to start adding our seasons. And remember, with these seasons, you're going to add as per your taste buds. You know how we do it. Now we have the eye set on high. We're gonna boil this meat for about an hour and 15 minutes. That's an hour and 15 minutes on high. Um, then you're gonna turn it down to like a maybe a medium high and let it continue to cook covered. We got it covered. We're gonna let it boil and simmer for about an hour and a half. All right, so now that we got the chicken on the stove, we're going to go ahead and make the dumplings up, y'all. These are all the ingredients you're going to be needing for the dumplings. Yes. Hey, guys. We're getting ready to make some chicken and dumplings. Homemade chicken and dumplings. Oh, yeah. The Southern style way. So, y'all meet me down here. All right, you guys. So, we got a stick of melted butter. And we're going to go ahead and add our stick of butter to our bowl. Now, if you were making biscuits, you would leave your um, your butter cold and you just, you know, work it in with this. We'll still use this, but we wanted our butter to be kind of melted a little bit. Now we're gonna go ahead and add our our flour we got self rising flour y'all so we're gonna do that's one two three Four. Four cups of flour. Let's go ahead and mix this around. And you want the texture to be crumbly. That's what you're looking for, a crumbly texture. Okay, so you guys can add, um, at this time you guys can add 
chicken broth, vegetable broth, whatever kind of broth you wanna add. We're gonna add this chicken seasoning by Woya. And then we're gonna add, gradually add in water. So you can figure about one to one and a half cups of water because we're using four cups of flour or broth or whatever liquid you're going to use. Now I'm going to just put a little bit of flour in here, just a little, maybe about a, a half of a cup of flour. That was probably like a half of a half a cup, but we'll use the rest of it. There you go. We're going to take a little flour, flour our, our mat here. Make sure you have flour in your hands too when you get ready to handle your dough. Okay, so now you're gonna get your rolling pin. Make sure you got some flour on your rolling pin. And we're gonna roll our dough. So pull this this way, so you can see. There you go.
you don't want your dumpling too thick and you don't want it too thin either. But just remember that as it cooks, it will thicken up. So now, what you want to do now, we're going to put a little more flour on top because we're going to get ready to cut it. Slice, slice it, slice it, slice it. Step. All right, so we're going to go ahead and slice our dough. You can use a pizza cutter or you can use a serrated knife. I'm using a serrated knife. Serrated knife is excellent when you're slicing through bread. It keeps it from ripping. So we're gonna slice this about an inch in width. Y'all can see this. And then we'll go across. And when you guys are making these, whatever you don't use, you can refrigerate or freeze. Once we get done slicing these up, we're gonna put them in the refrigerator and let them get chill. You want them to firm up a little more before you put them in the boiling water. It's the way my grandma always did it. She always put them in the refrigerator for about 30 minutes to about an hour. And she always did that while the meat was cooking. So that when the meat gets done, she takes the meat out of the pot and then all that good old broth that the, that turned, all that good old water that turned into broth from the chicken cooking in it is what the dumplings go into. Oh yeah. 
What y'all know about that? Okay, so this is pretty much the shape you want them to be in. Like this. All right, so we're gonna go ahead and get these in the refrigerator so they can chill for about an hour while we have the chicken on the stove cooking. See y'all back down here as soon as they get out of the refrigerator. We'll put it all together. All right, so we're gonna take those pieces and we're just gonna put them in the, put them in the pan and line them up. I flour the pan with some aluminum foil, and we're just gonna layer them on here in layers. Like so. All right, so I'm done with all of these. I got about four or five rows in here. Now I'm gonna take the excess flour that I had and we're gonna just keep it all in the same pan because when we get ready to, you see how that moves around? That's right, we don't want it to stick and there's layers and layers of dumplings in here. So we are going to put this in a refrigerator about an hour let them all get all chill and firm and we want flour to be on them because that's what helps to the broth that we put it in thicken up so yeah let's get these in the refrigerator all right let's take the lid off the chicken Ooh, it's hot yes So it's boiled about an hour and 15 minutes. We're gonna go ahead and take these out. Mm -hmm. Let them cool so we can debone them and get all that good old breast meat out of there. And these breasts are huge. They're gonna make a lot of meat. And now that we got our broth here, we're gonna add some salt to it. We're gonna bring it back up to a boil. We're going to add our dumplings. And you can definitely not forget the boiled eggs, okay? you got to boil eggs. So it's kind of like when you make that gib giblet gravy for Thanksgiving. you got to have them boiled eggs. <laughs> we in the South got to have boiled eggs, honey. So we're going to boil six eggs. Hard boy is we're gonna boil six, and we are going to slice these babies up in that chicken and dumplings, y'all. Cause it ain't southern chicken and dumplings if you don't add the boiled eggs. Okay, get with the program, and we finna boil that. We'll be back. I just added a little celery seed, as per your taste, celery seed to my to my meat before I shred them up. All right, you guys, so we're getting ready to get to the final stage. As y'all just saw me, I just, well, as I just said, I just added the celery seeds 
to my meat and now we're gonna get ready straight up it's still a little hot but honey i'm ready to get into this okay i know y'all are too let's get down to the chicken baby All right, now that I got the bones off, we're gonna let this meat cool. It's too hot for me to be touching in here, y'all. We're gonna let it cool. <laughs> All right, you guys, so the chicken's ready. I can go ahead and just go through it and make sure that there's no bones. I do like my chicken and dumplings with my chicken breast uh, with uh, chunks. So I'm just gonna be breaking it up because I like a meaty chicken and dumpling. I hope you guys are enjoying this recipe thus far. Good old Southern comfort food. Comfort food, Southern. And I do keep the skin in my chicken and dumplings. Some people I know they take their skin out, but we eat skin. So I like my skin in my chicken and dumplings. So just so you know, it's in there. Y'all. All right, definitely gonna be a meaty chicken and dumpling, y'all. Don't forget, we will be mukbanging this, so y'all go check out the mukbang. It's gonna be at Shell and Frank or Promo SEK Reality TV. Oh yeah, baby. Yes. All right, that's good. 
Very good. That's how we want it to look. Meaty. All right, so the eggs are done boiling. Let's get them deshelled and sliced up and ready to go in the dumplings while the dumplings cook. Okay, so we got our eggs boiled and we're just gonna do a rough chop. Nothing fancy, just a rough chop. That's it, just a rough chop. All right, you guys, so now we got the, we got it on high boiling. I'm gonna turn it down to about a medium because we don't want the noodles to boil too fast. So I just turned the heat down. We want it to be on a rolling boil when we start dropping them in. Here's a star by show, you guys. Now the time you put your dumplings in the a boiling broth yes, until the time you turn that eye off, you're looking at about 25 to 30 minutes. 25 to 30 minutes for the amount of dumplings that we're cooking in that pot to get done. And that's the trick to refrigerate them first. That way when you're putting them in the, the boiling broth, they don't stick. So as you're dropping them in there, they're just continuing to individually boil all by themselves. So you don't have to worry about moving anything around. They're gonna drop what they need to drop and cook all by itself. Give them a stir. Let's add some more, because we have plenty. You can feed a crowd with this, you guys. You can feed a crowd, a hungry crowd. And who don't love dumplings?
We'll go ahead and pour our eggs in. So we have about two more trays left and we will refrigerate these and use them another day. We will continue to stir these, no lid, no lid, no lid. We'll just continue to stir them. Now we'll go ahead and put our chicken in it. Now we'll put it on a low and just let it simmer. Now the meat's in there. And just let those dumplings continue to cook.
all done you guys i hope you enjoyed this video i hope you enjoyed me making this awesome comfort food yes soul food comfort food southern cooking chicken and dumpling yes Grab your fork and your plate, you guys, because we're going to mukbang this. Don't forget, come on over and watch us eat this awesome chicken and dumplings made homemade. Easy. You can do it, too. Comment below, subscribe, and we'll see you on the other side. What's up? What's up, you guys? It's your girl, Shella. Perfect. Come on over and check out our channel, Promo SDK Reality TV, husband and wife, where we eat good in the neighborhood. We're a mukbang eating show, cooking and recipes, especially soul food, pranks on Frank, oh y'all go check it out, challenges, vlogs, comedy skits, short videos, and tiktok so come on and become our oh yeah baby today subscribe to our channel follow us on instagram promo sdk promo sdk or you can also go to any of our social sites and find us under promo stk oh yeah baby we can't wait to see you we can't wait to meet you so come on over